What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video I'm gonna be testing out this new furnace that I just got from 2Auto. We're gonna test it out and see how well it can melt down silver for silver pouring. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. Haven't done a silver pouring video in a while, but I'm excited to be breaking out this brand new furnace. I will have a link uh, down below in the description to pick one up if you wanna try it out for yourself. But uh, we're just gonna kick this on here. And I do already have it set to the temperature that I want. I've never heated up all the way, but we're going with 1095 Celsius. So it's gonna be about 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. That's perfect for silver. Uh, as far as crucible size, you could put a one, two or three kilogram crucible in here. Uh, this is a one kilogram crucible, but there's no silver in it. So we're gonna to need to add some silver. All right, so as we're heating up here, I just wanted to show you some of the other stuff that came with the furnace. Uh, it did come with this uh, instruction booklet here. I read through it. The main thing you need to know is you can't have it on for more than three hours, uh, otherwise it will overheat, so you gotta shut it down after three hours of use. Uh, these are really simple. You just plug it into the uh, regular uh, 110 outlet in the wall. Now it did come with a three kilogram crucible, but this is like huge. Unless you're doing some massive pours, you're probably not gonna need that. Uh, did come with this little mold here. That's pretty cool. Also came with some gloves and it came with some tongs as well. So pretty much everything you need to get started. Uh, one other thing is that this is gonna work great for pouring silver. However, it can't go over 1100 Celsius. So if you want to pour copper, um, this machine is not gonna get hot enough for copper. So I would only recommend doing silver or gold or brass or sterling or something on a machine like this. So anyway, uh, let's get this heated up the rest of the way and we'll see how she pours. I've enlisted the help of one of my little dragons to film this video. What's up, little dragon? Oh, hi. See how they turn out? Mm-hmm. Ooh, that one's pretty cool. It was really hot. It's really hot? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's like 2,000 degrees, bud. Whoa. All right, let's try another one here. Ooh. Got some pretty good ripples. All right, well that was super fun. I'm gonna show off some of the pieces that I poured. I'm actually filming about a week later. I wanted to test the furnace out a little bit more and see how she would hold up. And there's been no issues so far, so that's great. Uh, the first thing that we cast was the R2-D2. Needs a little bit of uh, cleanup there, but coming along nicely. And I also did one of these cool ripple bars Super fun. Now I've been using this style of furnace for several years now, and the new one that I got uh, from 2Auto is basically the exact same thing. I mean, it looks a little bit different, but as far as function is considered, it functions the same. And I love it. I mean, it melts the silver no problem. I had no issues getting it up to temperature, and it's run very smoothly. I mean, I did run it for about two and a half hours on one of my pouring sessions, and I didn't have any problems. So I think that this is going to be a great furnace for new silver pourers or people wanting to get into the hobby, or if you've been doing it for a while and you want to add some more furnaces, uh, definitely check them out. Again, the links to purchase will be down below in the description. They shipped it to me super fast. So good job to Auto. I'm very pleased with the new furnace. Now, if you want to watch some more videos about me pouring silver, sort of the process and some of the other things that I do, I will put a playlist up in the corner. That's my silver pouring playlist. You can watch a bunch of my older videos. Some of them are pretty funny. Some of them are kind of cool though. Uh, some of the different pieces I've made over the years, uh, especially like the 100 ounce pours, those are really cool. 
So anyway, um, yeah, I guess to wrap up this video, I'll just say that these machines, if you take good care of them, you don't run them more than the three hours that is recommended. They can last you several years. My first one made it about uh, two and a half years, and then it was actually my fault that it broke because one of my crucibles was uh, a little bit too worn down, and the crucible actually cracked on me, and all of the silver poured out into the bottom, which ruined the electronics, etc. Also, if you run them too hot, it can burn out the heating coil, so don't go over 1100 Celsius, and you should be fine. You know, if you want to do copper, you'll have to get a different machine like one of the uh, Hardens. These do cost more, but they can get hotter. So anyway, that is the video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons, out.